Secret Sanctum. Today I'm going to be explaining pretty much any possible question you might ever have about time travel, but first just a quick announcement for you guys who are already subscribed. After getting a lot of you guys' feedback, I said, hey, put some of your you now answers onto YouTube. So yes, I'm going to be doing that, but I'm only going to be putting the first few episodes of this here on my main channel, and after that I'm going to be putting them all on my second channel. So, uh, if you want to see that or a whole bunch of other cool educational stuff on a daily basis, um, feel free to either look above or down in the description. I will have a link to my second channel. Anyways, uh, back, back to time travel. Uh, now, there's a few different aspects and, say, types of time travel, depending on how you want to classify it. So, uh, I'm going to start with the more observable or obvious kinds of stuff that we measure and then move on to the more abstract kinds of stuff, right? So first, let me start with, with the obvious stuff. Um, how about, can we see into the past and into the future, right? We're not traveling through it yet, but can we just say, you know, is it observable, right? So can we look into the past? Now, it's a very good question, and absolutely we can. Uh, we do this every single second of our lives, right? Imagine, uh, when you're looking at your computer screen right now, right? And it takes a certain amount of time for light to travel from your computer screen into your eyes, right? So that means that you are not seeing it instantaneously, right? You are not seeing your computer screen as it is in the present. You are seeing it a fraction of a second ago in the past. It's probably like, uh, let's say, a millionth of a second, right? Now that may not seem like a huge deal because of that minimal time difference, but let's look at it on a larger scale, right? Let's look at our sun. Okay, now, if we look up in the sky and see our sun, right? It takes about eight minutes for light to travel from the surface of our sun to the Earth, right? So that means we're not seeing our sun as it currently is. We are seeing our sun eight minutes ago into the past. Now, this, this is kind of a weird idea, and we're, we're thinking about it. You know, imagine if the sun magically went out. Now, we know the physics, you know, it would expand. It wouldn't necessarily extinguish, you know, just turn black. But let's say if it did that, right, um, that light would still be traveling towards us, and it would actually take us eight minutes before we realized the sun went out. Now, so that, that's a little weird, um, but that, that absolutely does work. So technically, we are always looking into the past every second of our life. But okay, now that we've looked into the past, let's see if we can look into the future, right? Can we see things before they happen? Now, that's a really interesting question, and the answer is yes, we can. Um, if you haven't seen my video about quantum teleportation and quantum entanglement, basically, researchers have developed a new way of transporting information instantaneously or at least 10,000 times the speed of light. Um, so an interesting idea is imagine if we have two galaxies, right? We have our galaxy and some other galaxy, let's say, a light year away, right? Now, that means if, let's say, some event happened in, you know, it's a like galaxy B, right? Uh, some star exploded or whatever, they can send that information to us instantaneously, right? So that means if they send us that information instantaneously, um, after we get that information, it will stay, still take one year for that information actually to be sent to us from that natural occurrence. Like, let's say, from that star exploding, it still takes one year for that light to travel to our Earth naturally. So, necessarily, we would have got information saying, hey, this star exploded a year before it happened, so absolutely, you know, that's one way that we can look into the future.